It's the first round of the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Will this be our year? Roll the intro. Hello and a big welcome to part 18 of Creator Club here on ReCFC. Guys, as I just mentioned, we are back in the playoffs as we was last season. We're in the playoff first round, albeit a little bit disappointing because I thought we'd get through this first round. Well, we'll get a buy in this first round because we were third. But we've had a bit of a sticky patch, just like at the end of last season before the playoffs. Not ideal if you have a look there. Since you was last with us, we have drawn with Wellin 1 1 away. We drew at home to Slough as well, who we conveniently play next in the first round of the playoffs. And we lost away at Billy Ricky Town, where we. Scored really early and then scored really late. So not a great game uh, day for us there. But there are all teams in and around us. I mean, well in. Oh, we can't see it there, can we? I thought we could. Well in were ninth going into that. Slough were six and Billerickey were seventh. Obviously, they were just outside the playoffs. And I wonder whether they actually made it through. But who cares? I thought we'd be able to see the table there, but of course we won't. So it doesn't really matter. But this game against Slough is a big game for us. It's a one-off. It's not even two legs. We went out harshly on penalties last year. Let's hope we can go at least a step further this time. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? And let's head across to this team selection and, and show you what's going on. We are going to name an unchanged side for this game, which is Johnson in goal, Green, Matsuzaka, Patterson and Okra. And all familiar back four, you all know about now. You could probably name this 11, to be honest. I probably don't have to run it through with you. We've got that consistent in playing these guys. Estrada and Lawrence in midfield. Tomlinson, Defight and Osborne just behind, you guessed it, Dallas up front who's come in and done worked wonders for us. Hopefully he can score in this episode because you know he, when you guys are here he tends to try not to score. But you know you have seen him score one or two anyway. But we're happy with that and we're going to roll with this game. Hopefully we can get through this. We Hopefully there's no penalty drama. I've had enough of penalties this season as you guys would know. And let's tell the boys... We're favourites for a reason. Hmm. Don't want to tell them that. We're just going to tell them to go out there and give them fans something to cheer and tell them we all have faith in you all. And let's get this game underway, guys. Should be a cracker. I just realised I need to change this. Bear with me one second. That should do. There we go. You shouldn't have really quick speed highlight speeds now. And we are underway here. Four minutes in and a couple of shots in the game already. Let's hope. I just don't want another penalty shootout, but I take it. It's better than losing in 90 minutes. And here's great. Why are we playing in black today? Very strange. We're the home team. Why are we changing our colours just for them? Here's Lawrence out wide. Well, I thought he was going out wide, but he found Osborne at the edge of the box. And Slough are now looking to come forward. And they was coming forward. And we've got the ball back again. Here's Defias. Back to Estrada. Estrada, lovely ball over the top to Dallas. Can he give us the lead? He can't. And he fires it straight at the keeper. I think he tried to lob him, which is a ridiculous thing to do at that situation. If you're inside the box, don't try and lob the keeper that's standing. Very strange indeed. It's been an eventful start to this game. I'm going to tell the boys to get a bit more creative. It's... It'd be nice to get one or two goals just before half-time. Settle the nerves a little bit. Cameron Green's picked up his 10th for the season. Does that mean... He'll be out of the semi-final if we get through. I think it works out. Like I think it's the semi-final next. Still don't know how to do to work these non-league playoffs. And it's the second year running in the playoffs. Should know really, shouldn't I? And I think I keep mentioning it in the other videos as well. That I still don't know how the playoffs work in this league. But you'd think I'd research it, wouldn't you? And before I shout at the players, let's see what we're going to do here. Lawrence says, Cameron Green, it's a lovely strike into the top corner. What a time to get your first goal of the season for Cameron Green. Hopefully he's not suspended for the next round, well, for the semi-final if he keeps producing like that. It was a lovely goal, and now it's time to praise them. I was about to tell them, I was about to demand more from them, and that would have been a bit harsh when they'd just gone one and up, wouldn't it? Lovely goal from Cameron Green, though, and that gives us a flying, well, I say flying start with with well into the, into the first half now. We've actually nearly finished it. But let's try and hold on before half-time. Don't do anything silly, boys. Coming up 1-0 up, regroup. And we've given them... They've got a corner. They've got a great chance. And it's headed over. Bit of a let-off, that. Left alone on the six-yard box. He should have scored. He should have absolutely buried that. The Slough Tower man. Matt arc has been booked as well. So we've got a couple of bookings. Interesting. We don't want to... I don't, at the same time, I don't want to ease them off 
challenges. I know they're on a book in and they're susceptible to a second yellow, but I don't want them it to start affecting their game. Let's tell them not to be complacent. And let's see how we go in the second half. We're going to still remain on a balanced style. We don't usually change this unless we're chasing goals. But being a big game, last 10 minutes maybe we will. But I always find if you go defensive, you're sort of inviting the opposition onto you. And we don't really want that. Here's Green into Device. Lovely ball in. And where's the ball going? It's to Estrada. Lawrence now. Be lovely for him to get a, get a goal. And here's Osborne now. Osborne strikes. And it's a beautiful goal into the far corner. And what a goal from Sam Osborne. 13th goal of the season. Doesn't feel like he scored 13, to be fair. But I've been slamming him a little bit in this uh, this season. But that was a big goal. That's a great time to get in my good books in the playoffs. Fantastic strike. And we comfortably lead at the moment 2-0. But we know that can change fairly easily. And here comes Slough Town now looking for an immediate reply. His Cole, was that? It's really hard to see these players' names when you don't, and try and figure out who they are when you don't really know the teams. And here comes Slough Town down the right. And it's a lovely ball in. It's off the crossbar. I think that hit the bar. I'm sure that hit the bar. I don't think Johnson saved it. And what's going on here? It was a foul. And they've got a free kick quite far out. But Harris hits it very well and a good save from Johnson. And Johnson would have been very disappointed. And I would have been very disappointed if he would have let in a goal from that distance. And let's head across now. We're on the hour mark. Let's have a look what we need to do to the team to try and keep this lead. Everyone seems in good condition. Matt Sazaka is slightly under 80%, but it's not not bad at this stage of the game. He's playing well. I don't see the need to make changes, to be honest. We don't really need to. We're just going to demand more from the players just to keep them a bit focused. Don't want any complacency slipping in there. Oxford City 4, Billericay nil. So... That's what's going on in the other one. I wasn't aware. Have we got a penalty? We have got a penalty. I take seeing penalties like this, just not a penalty shootout. I can't handle that today. And Lawrence steps up. Oh, and he misses. Is that a big turning point in the game? Because we would have we'd have been out of sight by scoring that, surely. And now it's still only 2-0. It's a dangerous scoreline, 2-0, as we all know. Oh, that's really annoying. Thank goodness that wasn't a penalty shootout. And Slough are looking to come back up immediately up the other end. Matsuzaka, don't foul him. Oh, my word. And Slough have missed an absolute sitter again. Thank goodness they can't finish. My word. Right in front of goal, that one. There's, there's been two or three of them, isn't there, guys? I don't know what on earth is going on with their finishing. And we are going to make a change here. We're going to bring off... We don't usually do this. Bring off Tomlinson for Cole. And we're also going to... Oh, this, everyone's got good ratings. It's really hard to decide whether to actually make changes. We are going to bring on Marriott for Dallas, actually. I didn't just cancel them, did I? No, I didn't. I thought I'd just press the cancel button by accident, which meant I'd have had to donate all again. 10, 15 minutes remaining here, plus injury time. We are still 2-0 up. We're still fairly comfortable in the game. They are getting opportunities, though, by the looks of it. And they sh they've had three clear-cut opportunities. Certainly, minimum half chances. And they just haven't taken them. And, but, of course, we've missed a penalty as well. Five minutes to go here. And we're looking to get one step further in the playoffs than we did last year. Oxford are 5-0 up over Billericay. Absolutely cruising there, aren't they? And we have surely done enough now to make it through to the semi-final. When we have, we're into the semi-final of... The playoffs, guys, and we're going to tell them we're, we're happy with that. Very happy with that. And again, I don't know now what, what happens. Is it two legs in the next round? There we go. Dover away. Oh, that's a tricky... Mm. I suppose they're all tricky at this stage, aren't they? Let's have a look, though. Is it one leg? It is one leg. Amazing. If it was two, I was going to do it over the next two episodes, but we'll fast forward now to the Slough game. Not to the Slough game, we'll fast forward to the Dover game. And magically, we're at the Dover game now, which is the biggest game in the club's history. And we have, we're have we going to name another unchanged side, I think. Why change it when it worked in the last game? And I'm just going to have to have a quick look, actually. Can we bring anyone in the bench that could be pivotal? No, that's, they're fine. We'll leave it as that, then. That looks good to me. And this is, as I just said, the biggest game in the club's two-year history. 
and hopefully in the next episode it will be uh, the biggest game an even bigger game in the club's history and hopefully it will be a playoff final because of course this is just one leg which I don't really know how I feel about that to be honest I suppose I'd be happier if I was at home if we were at home today at the Reese Arena because we just have the home advantage but we're the away team here at Dover and it's it seems a bit unfair not to have a chance to bring it back to your home to your home ground and we're in black again here back in our away kit here's Tomlinson Green lovely ball in there's Osborne and what a start to this game 14th goal of the season for Sam Osborne we're not even a minute in and we're ahead in the playoff semi-finals lovely work Green Tomlinson and a lovely lovely touch by Green and then he beautiful ball in Osborne lost his marker on the edge of the six yard box terrible defending three of them lost him it looked like there and they should have dealt with that shouldn't they they don't deserve to go up if they're going to defend like that I forgot to drop some praise and as soon as I dropped the praise Dover on the attack here here's Taylor puts a lovely ball in it's oh, very similar to the chance we just had but we took our chance hopefully Dover start missing missing opportunities like that like Slough did in the last game it was Weymouth that finished third in the league sorry I'm just thinking out loud there in my head I was like where did everyone finish and then I answered my own question out loud Munns with the corner in Maloney's effort and I think it hit the post or it was at least cleared off the line Dallas plays it out wide looking for Osborne but he wasn't paying any attention whatsoever by the looks of it we still lead in 1-0 here at Dover let's keep the boys minds in it looking composed at the minute which is good good to know as it stands, we'd be playing Weymouth in the playoff final. I kind of gathered it would be Weymouth who would finish, well, would be in the final because most of the season they've been up there. They've been pretty much second all year, I think. And we, we just managed to catch them up towards the end. They must have hit a bad run of form. Okra and Estrada loses out. And now Dover looking to the counter. Oh, I thought Cameron Green could have got that. Here's Cumberbatch for Dover. But Cameron Green redeems himself and here he goes, he's on the run now, I thought he was going to be brought down for a second yellow card for their player, and he goes alone, and he hits it straight at the keeper, I don't mind him having an effort there, but if only he did, he sort of earned the right, but only if he did roll that across, I think Dallas had a tap in, and it's still 1-0 as, as we hit the 42nd minute, I was concerned about that green message that popped up then, but it's just trying to convince me not to work the ball in the box, rather than have long shots, but we haven't changed that all season. Why change it now? And let's tell the boys, don't get complacent out there. What's the fitness like? Touch wood, we're staying rather fit this this end of the season. Normally non-league players start their fitness start to go quite quickly in games. I've noticed anyway during this season. Dover are a quite a fit side as well. They're looking in better condition than us at the moment. But that's not the stat that matters. The stat that matters is up there in the top left where it remains 1-0 to us here at Dover. 55 minutes on the clock then. We're dominating possession. And let's just keep hold of that ball. That sounds good to me. Keep hold of the ball, boys. Seems like what we're doing. Here's Patterson. Matsuzaka. Don't play around with it here. Don't put yourselves in trouble. And that's exactly what we've done. But we've been a bit lucky here. Lawrence picks it up and he plays it into Tomlinson, who is now dribbling through the entire Dover midfield. Ockren all the way back to Patterson. Matsuzaka out wide to Green. We can't get through to him on the right. We'll go to the left. And we're still trying the left, but we've gone all the way back to the goalkeeper. Johnson, long ball up. And somehow we've still got it. This is great football. Are we watching Brazil? Ockren. Eases past his man. Lovely ball in there. And Tomlinson's there. And that's 2 0 on the hour mark. 14th goal of the season for Tomlinson as well. That's 28 goals between just our two wingers. Amazing stuff. Thank goodness, before we signed Dallas, thank, we had nobody that could score goals other than these two. Thank goodness for them. Otherwise, we could have been in a hell of a lot of trouble this year. And that is 2 0 to Reese FC. And we're just going to demand more from that. I just want to, I'm just interested to see what that does. And it does keep the players motivated and confident rather than praising them and they're just really joyful and then start to lose focus 20 minutes to go now oh I was going to make a change but let's watch this highlight 
this may change a lot of things and they've hit the post and there's the Simpsons in there for the follow up we're in for a very long 20 minutes here guys I suppose they missed a good chance a couple of good chances in the first half so they got a bit lucky in the rebound but I suppose they kind of warranted that luck anyway but so let's have a look at some changes we need to make Lawrence is having a shocker in midfield and so is Estrada now that tells a bit of a story there hmm I don't really want to take Lawrence off we'll take Estrada off and we'll chuck in the youngster Reese Stray who hopefully can do a better job than Estrada who I have been critical of all season he seems to be pretty solid the last few games apart from today so We'll give him the benefit of the doubt, and let's hopefully let's hope Reece Stray comes in and does the business, and we can see this out. Let's get there's more highlights in this. I know it. I hope it's not going to go towards a penalty shootout. I can't. I can't handle that right now. Can't handle that. Two minutes left. Oh, we're going to go defensive and invite them on. Four minutes added on, boys and girls. We've still not made any changes apart from the stray one. And I don't want to change anything. And it looks like, it looks like... Oh, it's a corner. Oh, it's full time. Well, we've made it to the final. You're in for a treat in the next episode. You're in for an absolute treat. Possible promotion for the club. And let's have a look at confirmation. Oh, we haven't got Weymouth. We've got Oxford. Wow, we've got Oxford. They finished fourth. Oh, we can't see the league. Why can't we see the league? Am I just being really dumb? Competition review. Oh, where's the league? I'm being stages. Here we go, league table. We've got there in the end. Look at that. We think there's a point between us. They're in slightly better form, though point between us look at that that's going to be a cracker guys how long away until that game is played 15th we've got a week we got a week and that i think will be the next episode and what's an episode you're in for the biggest game in the club's history and the biggest biggest game in the series because the whole series is the club's history really isn't it a bit of a daft thing to say there dan but anyway join us for the next episode which will be the player final and hopefully we will be promoted to the national to the national league not even the national league south anymore that'll be weird to say big game against oxford i'm more relieved of playing them than weymouth but if you did enjoy the video please leave a like on it and if you haven't already done so please subscribe the chat to the channel share with your friends and family and all other football manager fans and we'll see you next time for the playoff final here on Reese FC.